Hello, my name is Miss Laura and welcome to The Reading Cove. Today we are going to be reviewing the children's book The Girl from the Sea, written and illustrated by Margaret Wilde and Jane Tenner. The main themes of the book are loss, family, love and remembrance. It is suitable for lower primary students aged 7 to 11. This book is a poetic, emotional and mysterious ghost story that follows a young girl who lives amongst the animals of the land and sea watching the family who lives in the cottage, wishing to belong. The book encompasses a variety of strong language features that enhance the book and help create meaning and emotion. The first few pages draw the reader in with powerful visual features, which set the mood and the tone for the story with dark charcoal drawings. Suspense and repetition are created and used through the rhetorical question, who lives in that cottage by the sea? As the audience is pulled into the story, continuously questioning the connection between the girl and the family. This gives the book a lulling and emotive effect. Figurative language is used to the simile, do you feel me curling around you soft as mist? The use of figurative language enables readers to form illustrative descriptive mental pictures to engage with the book. Pathos is used to the phrase, I wish, I wish it was me, to highlight the longing and sadness attached to this girl. Descriptive language such as bright-eyed bird adds engagement and depth to the story. The tone of the story is sorrowful as we connect with this young girl through the visual and language features. The book is illustrated beautifully with soft monochromatic charcoal drawings that create an intriguing ambience to capture and engage the read up from the first page. The girl, however, is painted with aquatic and earthly blue swells and colors, representing the ocean, which highlights a striking contrast compared to the rest of the book, which is saturated with gray, darker colors, illuminating a haunted, eerie, and sad tone. The salience is created with the girl as although she appears at different angles and framing, the illuminating blue swirls powerfully connects her image to the audience. Another large aspect of salience is the mum on page 22. The shading on the face illustrates a sad facial expression. As her face is drooping, she's staring longingly out the window focused on the bright blue tree that paints beautiful blue tones that intertwine amongst the pages. The mother in the book is often seen separated or distant from the husband and children, and even seen holding the little girl's hand along the beach on page 27, which strongly suggests that the woman is mourning the loss of a child. The book alludes to this on several of the pages, where the mother is seen planting flowers by a tree with large salient, and the daughter is later seen next to the tree with blue swirls intertwining between the beautiful branches. The framing and angles of the images demonstrates that with each page, the girl creeps closer and closer to the family. The proximity at first of the girl to the house is quite far, suggesting that the girl is lonely and small. However, this changes as her proximity to the family becomes closer through the progression of the pages. The visual features draw the reader's gaze to many different elements on the page that add more intimate details to the text description and the spacing of the pages continuously lead back to the blue illuminating swells of the girl. Whilst the text in this book is quite limited, the visual features provide the reader with so much detail and knowledge. By limiting the amount of text on each page, the reader can actually explore the impressive visual features, lowering the cognitive load for the reader. Thank you so much for joining me in my reading co for the review of Girl from the Sea. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye.